Yo, what is up guys? We are back today for another live in the RU tier. I feel like it's been a while since I've played in this tier, but uh, we have team number 101 over here. A uh, team that Dom passed me. I just get all my teams from Dom. He's my team dealer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, so we got a Scavalier here, a Lumbarius Cavalier with Overcoat, uh, Swords Dance, Iron Head, Mega Horn, and Knock Off. That's really cool. Lumberry with Swords Dance, awesome set. We got a, uh, a Stealth Rocks um, mixed defensive Seismitoad over here with uh, Scald, Earthquake, Toxic. Uh, and uh, then we have Defensive Flygon as well. We have really wacky EV spreads. Like, I, I really like what he's done here. Uh, then we're using a Drapion, which I've actually never used before. Um, I think ever in competitive, so this should be really fun. Assault Vest, so another Pokemon that can take special hits very well. Uh, choice Specs Typhlosion, as well as Choice Scarf, Metacham, representing the NBA right here with our Typhlosion, which uh, I should actually make that video. Uh, we made a transaction with Typhlosion, and uh, that should be coming out hopefully Friday. You guys will see that uh, so before the team builder goes up and stuff for, uh, for Jar. Anyway, uh, let's hop into a battle right here, um, and we actually get one immediately, which I'm kind of surprised about because it's uh, it's really, really late, but anyway. Uh, my opponent has a Barbarical, which kind of scares me, but we do have a Seismitoad, so we should be good to go. Uh, I don't know if those things typically run Hidden Power Grass. We will see, but uh, I feel like Flygon is my best overall lead against my opponent's team as he actually chooses to lead with Barbarical, so not too bad, not too great either, though. Uh, I'm just going to throw off an Earthquake, honestly. Uh, one damage on this thing. And uh, we do have a counter in, uh, in Seismitoad if he's not running Hidden Power Grass in like the special set. Um, which I don't see why you would. Uh, almost his entire team is grounded. Uh, Fletchender chooses to come in, that's perfectly fine. I'm assuming it's just going to go for a Brave Bird right here. Um, or Acro, sorry. Uh, not Brave Bird. I'm just going to U-turn out, honestly. We are faster than this thing. Uh, he might Wisp us here, which would be unfortunate. Uh, can I afford to go into Typhlosion right now? I think I can, actually. He doesn't have a very good response to Typhlosion's Focus Blast, so that's an option. Um, the thing is, I don't want to get Acroed here, but uh, he's definitely not going for Acro. Goes for Wisp, uh, increases our Fire-type attack uh, power right here. As uh, We can probably just throw out a, uh, an Eruption right here, or Fire Blast, actually. Might be better because he's probably going to Acro us on this turn. Uh, he actually chooses to switch out into his Barbarical, so that's fine. Get off a very big hit on that. Uh, revealing that we're specs, but that's okay. I'm just gonna go into Seismitoad on this thing. Uh, he doesn't really have a great countermeasure to se Seismitoad. Uh, he goes for the Shell Smash. We'll find out here if he is uh, the special set, uh, but we're just gonna go for uh, an Earthquake right here. Goes to the Razor Shell. We are Water Absorbed, so I don't know how, uh, how high I am on the ladder right now, how much I got left off at from Decay. Um, oh, I'm on the wrong account. That's wonderful. Our opponent leaves. We're going to switch over to the right account, guys, and uh, the next game will count as the real first one. Be right back. All right, so that definitely explains why uh, why we got a, a game so quick. But actually, I just searched for this one, and this one came up immediately as well, so that's not bad. Um, let's see here. He's probably going to lead with his uh, Selgor, I would say. Um, okay. And uh, I like... What do I like here as a lead? Um, no form of priority kind of sucks, but uh, I like Flygon as lead. Um, not that it beats Ambipom necessarily, because he's just gonna fake me out. What's my best play here? Uh, it might just be to stay in actually on his fake out. That does a lot of damage. He's Life Orb. Um, does a double hit take me out? Maybe. I know that's Technician boosted. Um, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn. He goes for the return. It's not able to knock us out, which is nice. I'm able to keep our flag on for the time being. And uh, now I can just go into Metacham. He actually has no switch-ins to a high jump kick, which is really nice. Uh, as that's exactly what I'm going to go for. This is uh, pure power, and he lets his Ambipom go down, which is awesome, because that's one of the only things on his team that was faster than my flag on. Um, let's see. Yeah, he only has two things left, and it's this. And um, and the Met... Oh, wait, wait a minute. We're 252 speed. Okay. Well, we are Scarfed. Uh, I think this actually kills Typhlosion. I'm going to calc this really quickly. Um, Metacham. Maybe not. Maybe not. Metacham. Are you Choice Scarf versus uh, Typhlosion? Flozion. Oh, hold on a second. What am I doing here? Let's move this over a little bit. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, high Jump Kick is actually a guaranteed knockout. So I'm just going to go for it. He's actually Scarfed. Okay. 
that's good to know because uh, now we can just go into Seismitoad and take no damage from the following one. And uh, I'm just going to get up rocks because I lose absolutely nothing by doing that. Um, his Scrafty is looking kind of scary. He actually goes directly into his uh, into his Acelgor there, which is a good play. Um, I'm actually just going to Scald this thing. He goes for an Energy Ball. Okay, so he's the Life Orb set? No. All right. What is this thing? Anyway, we're a uh, we're self vest Drapion, so we can take any hit. I'm just going to go for the uh, the knockoff right here. If he wants to switch out, that's fine. He comes back in at 75, which means Final Gambit, if he has it, is doing less. Uh, just going to get this thing's item off, which is leftovers, so that's nice. I don't have anything to necessarily hit this thing with, though, so I think I have to switch out into my Escavalier right here. As he goes for the bulk up, which is absolutely fine. I believe a Mega Horn still takes him out from 405 attack. Let's check that out. Scavalier. Um, you use Swords Dance, I guess. Uh, Mega Horn to a Scrafty. Scrafty, are you Dragon Dance? Uh, but put him at plus one defense. Um, yeah, actually, Mega Horn does nothing. Oh, that's right, because he resists bug. Uh, I'm going to go for Swords Dance, as he actually goes for a high jump kick and gets a crit. Great. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go into Typhlosion here. And uh, I think I just have to Eruption. I know he still has his Typhlosion in the back, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, not looking like a good game right here. Uh, going to knock out the Scrafty, which is nice. As now... Now he brings in his Magneton. I guess it's Scarfed. Uh, he wouldn't go for a Flash Cannon right here, I don't think, because he'd lose his Magneton in the process. He's going to go for a Thunderbolt. Awesome. And uh, now we go for... He's definitely Scarfed, so he's going to switch out here, I believe. Uh, more than likely into the Acelgor, so I'm going to go for a U-turn. He actually stays in. Okay, I'm going to go into Drapion here. Is he not Scarfed? Um, he's not Scarfed. Okay. Interesting. Um, I predicted him to Thunderbolt again, but then again... Maybe not. I need to keep this thing for uh, Typhlosion. So I'm going to go back into Flygon as he goes for the Flash Cannon. That's okay, though. I'm going to go into Typhlosion now, and I think I have to Focus Blast because I can't let his own Typhlosion come in right here. And then if that dies, then we have a chance to win with our own Typhlosion. So uh, he's just going to let his Magneton drop. That's fine. I don't know what he predicted me to be, but anyway. Uh, goes into his own Typhlosion here. I don't know what he's going to go for, but... We have this in the back, which is nice. I think we die, though. So I think this is better to keep. Because I don't think any one move his Acelgor can go for will knock us out. Yeah, I think I have to go into Drapion here. As he goes for the Focus Blast, that only does 33%, which is nice. And I'm just going to Pursuit here and hope he switches out, which he does, which means he goes down to rocks. Awesome. Okay, cool. His Acelgor comes in, probably just to bug buzz me. Uh, I think I have to play off of the Metacham not being Scarfed and go for Fire Blast twice. Yeah, I'm going to go for a knockoff here as bug buzz is going to be able to take us out. What is this thing, Choice Specs? What the heck? Alright, I'm going to go for a uh, Fire Blast here. Because if he weakens me, he weakens my Eruption as well, which is bad. Uh, we're going to be able to take out the, uh, the Acelgor right there, and we have to hope that the Metacham is not Scarfed. He sacks off his Typhlosion. Don't know why, but okay. Uh, gonna go into Metacham. We are Specs. We are faster, unless he's Scarfed. Let's go. Please, don't be Scarfed. Yes, and goodbye, Metacham. All right, so we were able to pull that one back. That was insane. Uh, I'm glad he was Scarfed um, Typhlosion instead of Specs because we were able to take that Focus Blast with uh, Drapion. So very good right there. Very good game to my opponent. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna jump into the next one here. Nice team. I like it. It's cool. Uh, I don't like that I got crit <laughs> from uh, from Scrafty, but anyway, we were able to uh, to play around that and kill it the turn after, so it's not that big a deal. And um, I'm getting Skype messages here. Uh, so we get a team with Mega Glalie. Mega Glalie is a huge threat to this team. Uh, however, he seems to be actually like a hail team. Uh, he doesn't appreciate Typhlosion at all. Like four of his members just drop, and the other two resist my hit. So as long, uh, if I can get rid of Dredagon and Blastoise, I just win with Typhlosion, basically, essentially. Um, I think Drapion is my best lead, because it pretty much covers all options, uh, except for Glalie. He leads with a Bomb of Snow, so that's good. 
and uh, we're just gonna go for a jab right here. His only switch in is the. Uh, wait a minute, Mega Bomb Snow doesn't exist in this tier, does it? Okay, I go for Knock here. Yeah, I get rid of his item, which is a Life Orb, as he goes for a Blizzard. That's gonna do absolutely nothing because of the Assault Vest, and I'm just gonna go for a Poison Jab here, because he probably thinks that I can't knock him out, or maybe that I don't have coverage for him or whatever. But uh, we are able to take out the Obama Snow, essentially getting rid of the Hail, which is nice means residual damage won't be a thing anymore. Uh, on this thing, I don't really have a switch other than a Scavalier. So I'm going to go straight into it. And then I'm probably just going to go for the uh, for the Mega Horn on the following turn. Goes for a Double Edge, only does 35%, which is nice. He takes the Recoil. Uh, we don't take any damage from Hail either because of Overcoat. And we're going to throw off a Mega Horn right here as he chooses to go into Drudagon. We miss the Mega Horn, which is actually better for us because we don't take the Rocky Helmet Rough Skin damage, if that's what he is. Uh, I'm going to go straight into Seismitoad on this thing because it can't really touch me. Uh, as he goes for a Fire Punch, awesome. Uh, it seems to be on Offensive Variant, actually, uh, from that damage. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks right here as he goes into Road to Mo. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't know if I predict him to go for the Leaf Storm on this turn necessarily because th that allows my Typhlosion to come in and just throw off an Eruption afterwards. So I'm actually just going to go for a Toxic. He does go for the Volt Switch, awesome. We get off a Toxic on this Rotom and uh, he's going to take that damage. I'm going to go into a Scavalier now, because if he's choiced, he's going to switch out. Yep. And he's going to go into Blastoise, which is awesome. And uh, now I'm just going to throw out another Mega Horn, get a lot of damage off on this thing as he goes for a spin. We still have a Rocker. We miss another Mega Horn, unfortunately. And now I'm going to Swords Dance, actually, as he goes for a Skull. That's going to do 24. Does not get the burn, though. We, do, we are Lumberry, uh, which means that um, even if he burns us here, we're fine. Uh, he doesn't, and he's going to straight drop to that crit mega horn. Awesome. Okay, so we're able to get rid of his spinner. Now I need, just need to get rocks back up. Uh, it can be on anything but the... Well, I can only get it up on two members. So um, I'm going to go for the mega horn right here as he goes for the fire punch. That's fine, though, because now I get my rocks back up once again. And uh, now they're here to stay. His spinner is gone. And we can start spamming high jump kick at this point. Uh, because, again, this Dredagon seems to be offensive. Uh, he's going to go straight into Glalie. This thing has Freeze Dry. I'm not staying in on this uh, because this still walls his Dredagon. And I, then I get to fire off Scalds afterwards. Uh, his Rotom is also toxic, which is nice. Uh, I think I just go into Drapion here. And then follow that, follow that up by going into uh, Metacham and throwing off a High Jump Kick. Uh, alternatively, I could also throw out a Zen Headbutt, but I just feel like High Jump Kick is my best play. He might switch out here. I don't see why he would, though. Uh, like, yes, Glalie is good against my team, but you're going to let your Dredagon drop to two of these. Or one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Metagen. He goes into his Scarfed Rotom. As uh, more than likely, a Leaf Storm is going to come out here. Uh, he actually goes for a Wisp, so I guess he's not Scarfed. Uh, going to knock out this Rotom with another High Jump Kick. And at this point, this is pretty much game. Uh, there's nothing I think he can do to salvage this. He goes into Glalie. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to go for the High Jump Kick. Knock this out. And the Registeel pretty much, I, I think it runs Protect in this tier. We will see though. Uh, and I think I have enough HP to live two like crashes. Uh, he's actually just going to forfeit, so that's going to be another win. Uh, we're 13.33 in this tier, which isn't too high, but it's not too low either. Um, get a, ooh, this looks like a very stally team. Okay, uh, like stall plus Chinchino, pretty much uh, is what it looks like. Which means that I lead with, uh, my Flygon as he leads Rotom Mo. Awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna get off a U-turn on this. Uh, we'll outspeed a defensive variant. Uh, if he wants to switch out, he's giving me a free switch into my um, my Typhlosion, basically. And should he stay in, I will more than likely go probably into Seismitoad because I don't see him Leaf Storming. Uh, he actually goes for a Volt Switch and is faster than us, so that tells me that he's either offensive or Scarfed. Uh, so I'm going to go into Seismitoad here and just get up my Stealth Rocks on this thing. And Alarm just went off. I'll be right back. Really got to get that sorted out. Okay, so our opponent went into Jellicent on our Seismitoad, which is fine. I get to get off a Toxic on this thing, which is like the best thing that could have ever happened. Uh, is toxicing this Jellicent because it, it like solves. Okay, he goes for a skull on my Seismitoad. Uh, he's going for moves that are like immunities at this point. I don't understand why. I'm just going to Earthquake this thing uh, as he will o me. That's absolutely fine. He does have Recover. 
uh, and I'm going to take advantage of that by going into Drapion. I can see him recovering here, and then I can just spam Pursuit and knock this thing out as it switches out, so... Um, he's actually going to switch out on that turn, so very good play. However, uh, this is a Poison type, so I'm just going to go for Poison Jab here. He doesn't have a solid switch in on his team, and I also have Earthquake for opposing Drapion, so that's nice. Uh, this is going to do 49%, very nice. He goes for the Aromatherapy. Um, he, sh he might be able to live the next one here, but I have no choice, I have to go for it. Um, the good thing is that this Aromatis is weakened at this point, which means if it switches out, uh, yeah, he's definitely living the next one. Um, I'm just gonna go for it though. Just gonna poison jab. I think his Jellicent, uh, because he left it so low, might actually die to a Specs Eruption. I gotta ch uh, check that. Hold on. Jellicent, uh, RU Utility is normally run physically defensive against uh, Typhlosion. Flosion. Uh, Choice Specs Eruption does 38 to 45, so it's got a good shot. Uh, he actually brings in his Drapion. I'm just going to Earthquake here as he goes for a knockoff and gets rid of our Assault Vest. We should be able to knock out this Drapion right here, or very close, okay. Uh, and now I'm just going to go for the knockoff of my own. If I can catch uh, the Claydol, that would be awesome, or even the Rotom would be really cool. Uh, he doesn't seem to have a form of Hazard Removal, and he goes for Toxic Spikes when I still have my Drapion around. So, uh, And also, there are only three Pokemon on my team that are affected by Toxic Spikes. Um, one of which I think is already status. Yeah, it's already burned. Uh, so that doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff on this Gladol. Uh, bring it down to 11%. He should go for the Earth Power here as he does. Uh, he gets rid of uh, my Poison type, but it doesn't really matter because I still have Flygon. So I just get off a free U-turn here. And I go into pretty much anything that I want at this point. Um, and I think that something is going to be... Probably Metacham. Um, because I don't want Escavalier getting burned, that's the thing. Or even Volt switched on for that matter. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Medicham. It pretty much covers all options, um, because we are Scarfed. He could be Scarfed Chinchino, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, it would make sense on his team. Definitely, with that type of stall, for sure. Uh, he goes into Aromatisse though, like this does not appreciate a Zen Headbutt at all. But I'm actually just going to Baton Pass. He doesn't protect either. Uh, so I'm assuming he throws up a Wish. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, and now we go for the... I think we go for the knockoff to try to catch the Jellicent. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. He shouldn't be carrying any, time, uh, any type of fire move. His Jellicent does come in. I go for the knockoff and knock it out. There we go. That thing's gone. Covered that switch very nicely. Basically, if you wanted to stay in and protect, I would just go for the Swords Dance on the next turn. And then I think Iron Head would have taken it out. Um, because if knockoff took it out from that range and it's a uh, super effective hit, then oh, maybe not. Anyway, uh, Rotom comes in now. I have one play, and that is into Seismitoad because it doesn't do anything else this game. Uh, as he goes for a trick, actually gets rid of his choice specs, get, uh, takes leftovers. Um, that's a little unfortunate because I don't really do anything with specs. I'm just going to throw off a Toxic here. I have no reason to do anything else. Um, and then I think I go into, like, if he leaves Storms, he actually goes for Volt Switch, which is awesome. Uh, we're gonna throw off a Toxic right there. And, uh, basically, he has to attack me at some point or he's gonna lose his Rotom at this point. He has to Leaf Storm me. Uh, and then when, once he does, I go into, um, yeah, there we go. And now we go into Typhlosion. Uh, actually, I could just go Flygon as well. That's not a bad play. Um... Yeah, Flygon and Earthquake, I think, is my play. Well, I mean, Typhlosion doesn't lose me anything, really. I just don't like this thing taking damage because the Eruption is, like, its main source of power. Because, like, he's going to let his Rotom go down here, and now my, my Eruption is going to be less powerful. I mean, it's still powerful as hell. Like, it's, it's like, around base 120, 130, I would assume, around the here, right? Um, it's 131, yeah, so it's, it's still extremely strong, but, like... I don't know. I don't like weakening it, you know? You know what I mean? He goes to the Rock Blast with his Chinchino, which is what I expected. That's why I went and flag on. You guys didn't understand that play. Uh, now I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Uh, Tail Slap shouldn't be able to take me out if he has it. Um, and I mean, anyway, Metacham just comes in and Zen Headbutts twice and wins. So, uh, he does go for Rock Blast again. I'm assuming he's choiced. I'm just going to go for the EQ here. Uh, now I'm going to Roost, because if he wants to stay in and continuously Rock Blast me. I mean, he might be King's Rock as well. That's definitely a possibility, which could actually still win if he gets enough flinches. 
but uh, he forfeits right there and uh, we are able to take another game uh, now the first one didn't count we're at uh, 20 minutes right now but uh, the first one definitely didn't count as a game I'm not gonna count that uh, so we're gonna try to find one more and uh, I'm gonna pause it until we get one guys be right back all right this man bring a ninja ask gotta watch out for that ninja ask, man all right um Typhlosion once again puts in a ton of work uh, I love that this thing is getting the thumbnail Probably Typhlosion and Drapion, because I've never used Drapion before and it's it's come in clutch at this point. Like living the Focus Blast, pursuing the uh, the Typh the opposing Typhlosion in that first game, uh, and then coming in clutch is just like a wall and like poison jabbing and knocking off and, and everything that it did. Uh, yeah, definitely these two are getting the thumbnail. You guys have already seen this by now, but anyway. Um, definitely leading with uh, Seismitoad here because getting up my rocks is kind of important, especially for this Ninjask. Uh, he does have a Rapid Spinner, but I don't really care. I'm just going to get him up. Um, this thing can get very, very strong very, very fast. So maybe I should reconsider this. Yeah, I'm just going to Toxic here, actually, because I don't want this thing, like, just setting up all over me. Then I'll go for rocks. And, like, if he switches into his Hitmon top or into his Sneasel, like, that's amazing. Um, he actually goes for Sub, so that's kind of scary once again. Uh, it's leftovers though, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Scald, right here. Like, what's he gonna baton pass speed into? x -Cloud? I would assume. He's gonna go for Sub again, but you're faster than me. What are you doing? I'm gonna go for Scald again. Like, if he keeps subbing, then he's gonna be knocking himself down lower and lower. We break the sub every time. As long as he doesn't get a Swords Dance off into, like, Sneasel, I'm okay. If he just wants to get up, like, a bunch of speed boosts, into x -Cloud. um Drapion can live the Boom Burst. He goes for Protect that turn. Uh, we're just going to keep Scalding. I have no reason not to. If I weaken this and then I go for Stealth Rocks, like, it's it's pretty much good good game. This thing goes under 50, basically. He's going to Baton Pass on that turn without a sub up, okay? Uh, he's going to Baton Pass it into x -Cloud. Going to take a Scald right here. Uh, does not get burned, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, would he just Boom Burst here? I guess he would. Scavalier takes it, right? Scavalier. Only thing is, I don't want to come on on a Fire Blast, but... Scavalier, um, you use Swords Dance versus x -Cloud Choice Specs. Um, Boom Burst does 41 to 48, so we can take it. Uh, and I'm assuming so can Seismitoad. Seismitoad. Are you defensive? Um, mm, yeah, no. That's with 8 special defense, though. Uh, we're at 221, so we have a little bit more. We have, like, 80 investment, something like that. Even more, actually. Like, 160. Yeah, around that. Yeah, we can take it. Um, and I can actually just get up rocks here. He's gonna go for the Boom Burst. It's gonna leave us at 18. I don't really need Seismitoad. That's the thing. Like, especially now with the rocks up, he has to spin. And... Yeah. I mean, I can go with Scavalier here and keep this if I want to, like, in case he gets back, in case he gets rid of my rocks, which are, like, pretty essential. Um, I just don't want him critting me. I don't think it's worth the risk, because if he actually crits me, he wins. So, yeah, I think I just have to Scald here. That's perfectly fine. I'm just going to go into a Scavalier, and I think I'm just going to, um, to Mega Horn here. Yeah, I don't have another play. I have to go for Mega Horn. Should he go into Hitmontop? I think I'm going to start Swords Dancing. And just win that way. Because he doesn't have much for this. He's definitely Specs from the damage on... Um, on, you know... What was just in. Why do I keep missing all of my Mega Horns? This is insane. Okay, I'm going to Swords Dance now. Because this thing is going to be... Uh, scared out of, out of its mind. Uh, when, once I start Swords Dancing. So, I'm going to do that. And now I'm just going to go for an Iron Head. Uh, he goes for a Close Combat. That's only going to do 41. He's going to lower his defense in the process. And I'm going to go for an Iron Head and knock out his Hitmon Top. But I don't have my Stealth Rocker anymore, which is really unfortunate. Um, if he goes an x -Cloud, he has to go for a Fire Blast here, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm going to go into Typhlosion. Uh, he does go for the Fire Blast, so we get a kill. I'm going to predict the Rhyperior to come in, and I'm going to go for an HP Grass. It should do a tremendous amount. Maybe not knock it out, but it's going to do a lot of damage. And this thing can't stay in on me, 
So I still have a boom burst uh, answer, like when he gets up his boom bursts again, uh, or his speed again, rather. Um, he goes into Drapion, though, so very good play on my opponent's part, I, I guess. I don't know. Um, I think I have to go into uh, Flygon on this thing. What's good about Flygon is that it, it pretty much picks up a, a knockout when it's in. Uh, like his Sneasel, well, I mean, his Sneasel doesn't die to an Earthquake, but goes for a knockoff, gets rid of my leftovers. Uh, I'm really tempted to just U-turn here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, because I don't want to let his Ninjaskin for free, basically. Um, as the Ninjask does come in, awesome. And I'm not going to allow him to pass this off into anything. I'm going to go into Drapion. I'm going to go for the knock. Uh, the knockoff is just my best play all around, as he will more than likely sub, yep, as we'll go for the knock right there. I predict him to protect on this turn, I'm going to go for another knock. And then I'm going to pursue him on the uh, on the baton pass. He should protect in theory. Okay, never mind. Just goes for the uh, baton pass straight away. I'm going to get off this knockoff on the Rhyperior. Get rid of its weakness policy, which is awesome. Um, don't really want to stay in here. Just going to go into Flygon on this thing. As uh, he goes for a Rock Polish. I don't know if he actually has anything to hit Flygon with. I'm just going to go for an EQ. He actually does have the Ice Punch. Okay. Um... Doesn't that mean that a Scavalier, unless he's Fire Punch, Ice Punch, Earthquake, like that's, that's actually, that actually just wins. Um, well, yes and no, because I don't think his Earthquake actually knocks out Metacham, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going to go for the high jump kick. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't knock me out. All right. Goodbye, Rhyperior. We're able to knock that out. And uh, he might think I'm banded. Uh, and go into Ninjask. He's probably just going to uh, to protect right here. I am actually not faster than this thing right now. So I have to go directly into Drapion again. This thing is annoying. He goes for protect. Um, I'm just going to go for the, uh, the knockoff again. Like, I mean, at this point, there's nothing that he can pass into that's, like, legitimately scaring me. Because the Sneasel is checked by... Uh, by Scavaliers, so is the x -Cloud. He goes for sub, that's fine. I'm gonna go for the knock. Uh, gonna do it again. Because if I get the x uh, choice specs off, like, it's it's pretty good. He goes for protect, and now I'm gonna go for pursuit. Like, I break his sub with pursuit anyway, because I have a lot of attack. Like, 306 is, is not a little bit. And he goes for a baton pass, and he allows his ninjas to die, so that's, that's amazing. Uh, oh wait, that doesn't work that way? Are you serious? Oh man, okay. Um, I mean, Poison Jab is my play here, right? Always? Yeah, always. Goes for the Icicle Crash, weakens me a little bit. Doesn't get the flinch. Gonna knock out the Sneasel with a Poison Jab. In theory, his x should come in here. I definitely don't live a Boom Burst from that thing. But I'll tell you what does. A Scavalier. <laughs> He's actually just gonna forfeit. So that's gonna be uh, a few wins. Did we get four wins? Yeah, I think we did. Uh, that's going to be four wins with Dom's team, so very, very nice. Uh, I think I executed correctly. The team is actually really well built. Um, I, lo I love it. Dom, good job, man. This is, like, mint. Love it. Anyway, guys, uh, check out Dom. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He, like, feeds me a bunch of teams. This guy's a great team builder, great player. He's been playing since DPP. If you don't know what DPP is, it's uh, Diamond Pearl Platinum. Um, so he's a very, very experienced player. Happy to have him as a friend. Uh, <laughs> know him from the uh, the Miguel uh, Mega Mogwai streaming days. So anyway, that's going to wrap it up, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe. Go check out Dom in the description as well as my Twitter and my Facebook. And I will see you guys later. Ciao.